and welcome to episode four of Potter Files. It's the Potto Bros. We're here again to bring you a new pedophile. <laughs> Hot off the presses. Actually, no, about 20 years too late, actually. Uh, mm. Kaya, hello. Hello. Welcome to another Potter Files. We lied. It's not going to be six more months between episodes. No. Um, I don't know. It's been three weeks, two weeks, maybe. Yeah, pretty pretty good timing on that one. We're, we're speeding up a little bit. This is probably mm-hmm. going to be our cadence, by the way. If you're listening at home, we'll do uh, an episode every two weeks, hopefully. That's what I want to hit. Episodes will come out first on Patreon, which they already are. And then um, the following two weeks after they go live on Patreon, we'll put them public. That's the plan. This week, brand new potophile. We've got Ed in NYC, also uh, named Eddie by his parents <laughs> i assume uh, i don't have his full name it's just eddie it's probably edward edward cullen is that him yeah it could be he was a 25 year old or 35 year old i have shockingly little information about this guy by the way he was in the first episode of to catch a predator back when it was called deep dark web or whatever the fuck it was called mm-hmm. um this was again in the best page long island new york sting and there's just very little information about these guys because they were never arrested or um, really investigated further than the chat logs, uh, which is what Chris Hansen went through on the episode. The luckiest pedophiles. I had to do a lot. Yeah, extremely lucky. They're, they're still out there, out at large, probably. Or they've settled down and married and have kids of their own, which is a distressing thought. <laughs> I mean, it really is. There's actually a fair few who have settled down and have kids. Yep, so a few other pieces of information about this guy. He's either age 25 or age 35. I don't know. Chris Chris says one thing in the episode, and then the chat log says a completely different thing. So I'm not sure if Chris misread it on the chat log or what, but he was either 25 or 35 at the age of when he was huh. showing up on the show. Um, that is weird. Really not sure which one. He okay. looks more like 35 to me. Like, if you want to pull up the picture, I've got the picture there, and this will be... Yeah, in the, I'm looking um, at it. He's definitely balding already. The show notes. Well, so am I, I and I'm 25, <laughs> so... Yeah, but he has a very, like, typical... What is the opposite of a widow's peak called? Anyway, he has very male pattern baldness there in his face. He, he doesn't look 25. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I definitely lean more towards over wrong. 30s. Could be. You don't know. Mm-hmm. You just don't know. I can't say we'll either way, really. We'll just say 30. Yeah. Well, regardless, too old for a 14-year-old. Let's just say that. Uh, the, the decoy's age was 14 years old. <laughs> What's the rule again? Half your age plus seven? I don't think it works either way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the rule that I'd always been told during school. Like, half your age plus seven, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, 20 down to 10 plus seven, 17. And that's, like, the lower bracket of what you'd ever be able to reasonably date um yeah. that's not a legal thing by the way i don't know <laughs> it does align pretty well with the law but <laughs> still I, I check the laws in your country first if you're ever checking the laws for the for your country though you're probably probably doing something wrong and should reevaluate um so yeah this this guy has a preface from perverted justice on his chat log saying this guy is creepy beyond words you won't believe the length this guy went to to make sure it was a child in capital letters, he was meeting. We had to have a decoy, a very small woman, dressed just like I told Eddie I was dressed, walk outside and show him it was a kid before he would pull in and park. So this guy made the decoy come out of the house and wave him in before he would be brave enough to go up inside the house. A lot of them do that. Yeah, that's a common theme. A lot of them do this. Which is weird. I guess even before the show, I guess they were worried about getting beat up or having their kidneys stolen or something, which is hilarious that like you are, imagine being a child rapist looking for a victim on the internet and you are worried about a crime being committed against you. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it goes to show that they all know it's deeply wrong and there's there's like actual, um, you know, consequences to their actions if if they're unlucky. Mm -hmm. So they, they know how much danger they're potentially in, and yet they still do it. They're that yeah. far gone. So the sliminess rating, a staple of the series so far. Uh, they re- the, the, what's it called? To Catch a Predator community, uh, Perverted Justice community, rated him a 4.69. Uh, 
out of five on the sliminess scale, which just a fun fact is more slimy than the last week's guy, which is kind of nuts to me since that guy mm. was off the charts slimy and scary. But this guy, Ed in NYC, Eddie, somehow slimier. So I'm excited to find out how. Do you think people actually logged on to that website back in the day and like rated a sliminess of zero? Like, hey, leave the guy alone. This is normal. Like other pedophiles. I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't think there's a single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Like review bombing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leaving mean replies and reviews. Yeah. Leave That's the alone. opposite in that case, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, From what I saw of the rating scale and um, all the other pedophiles, like I did have a cursory glance through and like there were none under like (laughs) 4.2. So they all got rated within the fours basically because like the the meeting kids are inherently like slimy. (laughs) There's no way Mm -hmm. you're going to be rated under a four. Um, I think there was one and it might have had to do with the his age. He was quite young. He was still like 19 or so. Um, he was rated more favorably or generously than the rest, but like I, I don't know the details of that one just beyond his age. So we'll get to that one eventually, probably. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so our format for the show, we're going to go through the chat logs first, read some choice snippets that I've taken from the chat logs, and then we'll go into when Ed in NYC actually showed up on that fateful day to meet Chris Hansen. Am I playing the creep again, or did you want to switch it Yeah. You can always play the creep. That's fun. You can take yeah, it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, that's, that's really what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I need a clause like those rich celebrities where it says I can never play the bad guy in a movie or read the slimy one. Um, you're, too, you're too far gone now that you've already read three episodes worth of bad guy talk. So yeah, people can cut that out. The... There's, there's no All point right. in me doing that now. I'm safe. Maybe I'll one day I'll have my breakout role. My assistant, Mariah, she'll get a call <laughs> from Hollywood. Like, we need a really evil pedophile. And the first guy that con- came to mind was Kaya. Can we book him? <laughs> this is like um, your that, you, this is your like your acting reel. Yeah. You should upload this as your portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> and just be typecast as a villain. Yeah. Just um, no method acting, please, Kaya. Let's just keep it on the page. Oh no. This one is already knows her age. So Rachel T. Walker, Rachel is the name of the decoy or this uh, puppet account that they're using. So Mm -hmm. I'm Rachel, Rachel T. Walker. She says, I'm in Beth Page. Where are you at? And Ed in NYC says, literally seconds later, I'm further out east, Medford, but I grew up in Plainview, one town over, lol, dot, dot, dot. It was a great place to live. He uses those ellipses a lot. So I don't know why. Yeah, he, he uses ellipses a lot in his text. I noticed that as well. Oh, cool. It seems boring so far, lol. Lol, well, yes, it is boring at your age, but great to raise family. But the city is close. Okay, so I included this excerpt because he clearly, he's seen her picture. We've confirmed that, you know, he's seen her picture and uh, she hasn't he said her, her age. age yet. He, he knows that she's young. It is boring at your yeah. age. So well, she probably we, has it on her profile. Yeah, could do. Yeah, I guess that's. But regardless, we've confirmed he knows her age, so that any conversation is kind of like unwarranted at this point. He knows he's talking to someone fourteen, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rachel then goes on to say, "I'm fourteen. How old are you?" I'm twenty-five. A little old for you, lol. You look older. Yeah, more ellipses. Age. Oh, I, I think I can see what's going on here. He's just lying about his age. Maybe that's the what the confusion is about. Yeah. Because I a lot of the so. pedophiles on the show would do this, where the guy would be literally 37, but he would tell the decoy that he would be like 21 or something, and then a literal balding old man would show up. Yeah, I I get that. I get that element of it, but what the ones that I don't understand is like the needless small lies that they would do. Like there were some that would be like, oh, they're actually 37 in real life, but then they'd lie to the decoy and say they're like 35. It's like, what the fuck is the difference? Dude. <laughs> I don't like, know. oh, those two years <laughs> made you far more attractive. You're right. Half your age plus seven minus two. The new formula. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel goes on to say, oh, thanks. You're not old, silly. Lol. I take it you go for older guys? Well, I liked an older guy one time. How old? <laughs> yeah, he's freaking out now. He's like, shit, I got a chance. <laughs> 
Uh, he was 22. Wow. Dot, dot, dot. He could get in trouble for that. Dot, dot, dot. Lol. Did your parents know? Are you jerking off? <laughs> Guaranteed. Hand on wiener. <laughs> Lol, we wouldn't get in trouble unless you told on me. No, they don't know. Cool, dot, dot, dot. You seem very mature for your age. Ah, the timeless classic. Yeah, I, that's why I included this one. Why, what, also, what the fuck has she said that would indicate she's mature for her age? She said nothing. She said nothing, she didn't tell no. her parents. That's what makes her this mature? Is, no, they're just like fucking parrots. This comes in the pedophile 101 handbook, I guess, that they like download from the dark web and read to <laughs> learn. Is Oh, say you're very mature for your age. Well, yeah, it's like part of the grooming process, right? Fluff them up, make them feel good about themselves and make them feel like they're, you know, adult oh, yeah, for sure. And for... when you're a kid, you're an idiot. You love hearing that shit. Yeah, Boys, girls, course. we all love that. But yeah, you're not mature. <laughs> yeah, definitely you're not. such a classic. I mean, she just said that she didn't tell her parents about that. That's not mature. You should tell your parents about everything. Well, not every. Well, I don't know about everything, but yeah, uh, definitely that. <laughs> um, so <she's> not mature. <laughs> <laughs> not mature and obviously Ed in NYC doesn't think she's mature either otherwise he wouldn't be uh, doing this they have a good eye for like who's vulnerable alright a man's night made is the next excerpt Ed starts by saying you're welcome you know I just looked at your pic again you're an extremely pretty girl I can't believe how young you are god uh, that's so fucking creepy <laughs> like oh I've hit the jackpot you're so young and supple Ugh. Rachel goes on to say Oh, you're so nice. You got a pic? Yes, in my profile. Coolness. I'll look. Be right back. <laughs> Coolness. K. Yeah, you're hot. <laughs> Whoa, you serious? Uh, yeah, you are. Oh, thank you very much. Very nice of you to say. You just made my night. Lol. This sounds like two bots talking to each other. Or like federal agents. Like each trying to fish <laughs> the other. What the fuck? How dumb are you? Yeah, do you think he's actually, uh, that actually made his night? Do you think that was an oh, ego yeah, boost? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. This guy thinks this is a real girl and she just called him hot. Well, Which would yeah, be the first if... sign that she's lying and not actually a real girl, but... True, hey. yeah. Plus, if a 13-year-old, 14-year-old said you were hot to you, I'd be, like, that would be so gross and uncomfortable. Oh, well, I mean, it's just something a young person can say, but it doesn't mean anything. Like, young girls have crushes on their boy band members, but yeah. it doesn't mean anything. It's like, yeah, what? Oh, that's cute. Oh, do you have a crush on me? That's sweet. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't make you, it wouldn't make you night. It wouldn't, like, actually oh, boost no. your confidence. No. Not at all. And if it's too good, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, Ed. Like, okay, you're a pedo. You're into little 13-year-old, 14-year-old girls. And if one finds you hot, that's probably a weird sign. Yeah, it's yeah too good to be true from his perspective. But that mm -hmm. his erection is overwhelming. His voice of reason, I'm assuming. Okay, so undergarments discussion. Ed in NYC starts. You and your PJs? Yeah. <laughs> How adorable you must look. What are they? Oh, thanks. It's just my t-shirt. Comfy, I'm sure. Just the tea or tea and panties? No, she's sitting there stark naked. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, why would she be bottomless? <laughs> just a t-shirt, <laughs> no panties on. I'd be mad if she didn't have panties. Like, you're getting skit marks on my couch? Fuck off. <laughs> Put your fucking pants on, you bitch. <laughs> That's disgusting. Kids don't wipe. <laughs> uh, she says... Tea and panties. And he goes, nice. I bet you have cutest little panties. What do the ones you have on look like? Why are they so fascinated by panties? I don't understand. I don't understand panties fascination. Man, he's trying to imagine it. Yeah, but like why? Prompt. What's 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 attractive... Yeah, but like, what's attractive about panties in that situation? Just that they're like proximity to vagina, basically. Do I have to explain to you as a guy why panties are hot? I, yeah, the I only don't... weird thing here is that it's a child. No, I don't. I yeah, I genuinely don't find panties. They're, they're an item. They're a piece of clothing. I mean, like, if it's like uh, lingerie or whatever, then yeah, they're sexy. But if it's just like normal, boring, uh, like skid marked laden white panties, <laughs> how is that attractive? <laughs> well, yeah. 
I mean, again, th in this guy's head, he's trying to imagine things that are not real. In real life, of course, it's going to be some fucking white skid mark panties with like period stains on it. But in his head, that's so hot. Oh, this little child looks, you look like a supermodel if she was like 12. Yeah, but no, I, I just, all right. Uh, we're not, we're not doing pedophiles at the moment. We're just talking about panties in general. Don't, don't, don't even bring kids uh, into it. Just panties. Well, okay, in well, for an adult woman, there aren't supposed to be skid marks in there. Yeah, I get, like I said, I get, I get imagining like lingerie or whatever. But dudes are actually into just like normal panties. Like as long as it's been worn by a woman, they're into panties. I don't understand. Yeah, I mean they have panty dispensers and shirts, so yeah. I, yeah, it's just not normal something. Panties can look good. They can look good, body. but it's not like I don't know. It's I've never clicked with the fetish of it. Like you know, there's panty raids. People go oh, out. Yeah, and I like, also don't have panties. the fetish. Like, yeah, no, I don't care about the fucking panties. That much you just take them off and come here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can leave it's them. What's I don't care. Uh, it's what's underneath <laughs> that's interesting to me. Well, this guy this is like, he seems to be more obsessed with the panties. You're right. Yeah. He actually seems to be happy that she's not bottomless. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. All right. So Rachel goes on to say, uh, even she's like confused. She's just like, uh, they're just white. <laughs> yeah, he goes, bikini cut or thong? They're bikini kind. Nice. Much sexier than thong. Leaves more to the imagination. Are they thing and stringy and high up on the sides? <laughs> a thong's a th thin and stringy and high on the sides. Isn't that the... Yeah, I guess the... Those are literal bikini undies, though, not panties, then. That yeah, who, describing. why would she be wearing that? Is that normal for women to just wear bikinis at home? I'm confused. <sighs> no. I guess if they're lazy, I don't know. Lazy? Like... <laughs> I don't know if she hasn't done the laundry. At this point, I think the decoy is just fucking exhausted and she just goes along with whatever. Yeah, yeah. As made evident by the next line, she just says, yeah, they are. <laughs> like, she's so bored by his fucking uh, <laughs> fantasy that she's just, yeah, submissive, basically. Goes, or dismissive. I love that look. Very hot. Are they silk, satin, lace, or cotton? See, so Jesus. specific. He's like, what brand and size are they? Yeah. yeah, he's way too specific. What kind of stitching on it? Cross stitching or straight? <laughs> Why did you buy it? What kind of discount did you get? <laughs> How often do you wash them? <laughs> she goes on to say, they're just cotton. And he says, wish I could see you in them. Smiley face. Aww. The smiley face really she brought that look. together. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So next we move on to the age old question. They've always got to ask this one. So Rachel, are you a virgin? <sighs> there it is. Yeah, I am. But I tried some other stuff before. What have you tried that you really liked? I liked the oral. Both giving and receiving. I cut off. I it got too dirty after that. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to read this. <laughs> Does the decoy play along? Kind of, yeah. Not, not like to the same degree as they played along with the panty stuff. Basically, it's always just like the shortest possible, uh, you know, sentences mm. back, and then they're writing the the pedophiles writing paragraphs. <laughs> yep. All right, the next one is paranoia. I can guess what this is about. Yeah, as you can see by the timestamps, the virgin talk or whatever came about 20, 30 minutes before the paranoia started setting in, which is what this next chat excerpt is about. So they've been they've been talking about virginity and fucking oral sex for like 30 minutes, and now yeah. Ed, Ed goes on to say... I would also would like to point out, at this point, they've been talking for an hour, almost exactly. They started at 2.14 a.m., middle of the night, and now it's... 3.09 a.m. Uh, so Ed's been jerking off for an hour. He's gooning. <laughs> also, is he not, like, at all curious as to why a 14-year-old girl is up at 3 a.m.? No, they never are. They never wonder, like, wait, why is this girl indulging me, this balding 30-year-old, about her fucking panties? Yeah, and why is this... Is too suspicious to be true. Doesn't she have to wake Even up... Even back then... ...in three hours for school? <laughs> uh, anyway, he says, So I'm really your type looks-wise, huh? God, he's still riding high on that compliment from fucking 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Rachel goes on to say, Oh, God, yeah, you're super hot. You don't got a girlfriend? He He's uh, making a lot of typos now. His hands must be shaking. Yeah, very his busy. One hand. No, he's, yeah, his hands are busy. Did, That's what just it is. Take, just dating dot dot dot. Nta, nothing serious. <laughs> he's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. 
<laughs> yeah, she's like, what a fucking loser. No, I love just, okay, so she replies with literally five letters of an answer. And here goes Ed. I'll admit you are not my typical for your age. You're a serious little hottie. I don't really go for young girls. It's generally not my thing. But you are mature beyond your years and very, very tempting. Dot, dot, dot. But I don't think it would be a good idea. Dot, dot. Uh Uh-oh. All of that in reply to, oh, cool. (laughs) (laughs) It did take him two minutes to write that out, though, looking at the time sense right now. So he was really thinking about that one, I think. Was it the underwear talk that made him think that she's mature? Yeah, I I guess she knows what cotton is. <laughs> oh, she wears bikini. I think if you ask the average, like, 12-year-old what her panties are made out of, she'd be like, what? I, I don't know. Panties material? Rachel goes on to say, oh, thanks. And okay, that's cool. I understand. He says, doy, do I tempt you? <laughs> doy? <laughs> <laughs> do I tempt you? What the fuck does that mean? tempt her you're the one being tempted you fucking idiot rachel goes on to say yeah, wait dude. yeah <laughs> what were you gonna say like he's seducing her or something <laughs> yeah. he's about to arrest her <laughs> this is a sting you bitch <laughs> have you never heard of twice your age minus seven <laughs> sucking sick fuck <laughs> rachel goes on to say yeah because you're adorable but if i'm not right for you that's cool uh, you handle yourself really well. Hey, just quickly, do you do you guys like it when they're called adorable? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, adorable neither. is the kind of like, oh, bless his heart. Like, yeah. you call your little nephew adorable, not a guy that you actually have any romantic interest in. Guys yeah. want to be hot, not adorable. Or at least, like, all beautiful. I, I'd take beautiful above adorable. Adorable is too, like, childish, I think. It is too childish, but I'll take handsome over beautiful. Yeah, like, handsome. Beautiful, yeah, is, like, yeah. beautiful, like what? Like a painting? <laughs> anyway um i take beautiful above ugly i mean yeah the two yeah uh edit and i see you you handle yourself really well and then rachel goes on to say oh thank you oh ed is now suspicious are you really who you say you are question mark dot dot <laughs> dot <laughs> uh rachel goes on to say lo yeah i am why you ask that because you are so bright and composed so that would bright indicate... and composed, this girl who answers it with like single letters at a time. Yeah, plus bright and composed would indicate that she's not a child, a young child. Like, aren't children usually bright? That I guess too, composed. shouldn't that make you suspicious, you fucking idiot? I don't know. Rachel goes on to say, oh, thanks, yeah, I'm really me. And then she doubled down and spelled really wrong, just to just to really make sure that yeah, he, also, uh, he knows. Yeah, thanks is spelled T-H-A-N-X. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, she's like, maybe the decoy person was like, oh, fuck. Uh, all right, yeah, how do I sound like a retarded child? Yeah, better dial it up real quick. <laughs> I thought maybe you are an undercover cop or agent, dot, dot, dot. So what is the point of them ever bring, even bringing this up? Like, even if they are, which yeah, they they're are, gonna yes, say no. they're not going to tell you. Yeah, of course not. That's right. These are the same idiots who, like, watch a movie, and you know how the characters always say, if you're a cop, you have to tell me, right? They go, yeah. That's like a loophole. If you ask them if they're a cop, they have to tell you they're a cop. <laughs> That's not how it works. So I, I love how paranoid he's getting in everything. And so uh, Rachel goes on to say, lol, no, I'm not a copper agent. I'd have to arrest myself. Also, this is the first time she's said more than one line yeah. at a time. So yeah. he's actually also getting nervous. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ed says, lol. And then Rachel says, lol. And then Ed says, do you like giving oral? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> That's good enough for Ed. Yeah. No, I, she, she tells this like shitty, uh, lame joke. Like, I'd have to arrest myself. He's like, oh, fine. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's all clear. Did you like oral sex? Immediately. It's like a Bugs Bunny scene where she coyly hides her badge and gun. Like, no, me a cop? No. And he goes, oh, okay. W- wanna fuck? <laughs> it's like a meme. It's, it's like a meme. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. You're so stupid. All right, now it starts getting really erotic. All right, uh, you start. Mm-hmm. We're now two hours in, I believe. Uh, um, oh, no, we're an hour and 15 minutes in, roughly. He says, you feeling horny right now? Uh, a little bit low, yeah. Are you? Yes, I am. Well, I heard guys always are low. 
The good ones, lol. I'm in the mood to watch you give me head. Wait, what? What is what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did is he of having that a mean? depersonalization episode, <laughs> like an out of body experience, where he just wants to watch himself get head? That's that's not how you say that as a guy. Yeah, I want to get head. No, I want to oh. watch you give me head. <laughs> like on video. <laughs> To which Rachel says, well, "Wait, what? What did the good ones mean as well? Like, good, good guys are always hard." Oh yeah, I mean, I guess that's just male braggadociousness there. Right. The, your alpha males are always ready to smash. Uh, Rachel says, "Lol, you think you'd want a party? You couldn't tell nobody because I'd get killed." Lol. Without a doubt, the same here. It would have to be hundred percent completely between us. So, pro tip, it doesn't even have to be sex. It can be anything, even legal and completely innocuous things. Children cannot keep secrets. It doesn't matter what. Even if it's just the act of, like, buying your mom a Christmas present together. That will leak. They cannot keep their fucking mouths shut, you idiot. Yeah. Which is God, good. These people are so fucking dumb. Let's, yes, let's have, like, this blood oath between myself and a child. <laughs> a literal person who doesn't has no control over their words. Their brain isn't even developed. They'll never tell anyone. Idiot. I, I can trust them Pinky with my promise. life. <laughs> yeah, you you need to take this to your grave in the next 90 years. Sure. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so idiot. Dumb. Yeah, it would. So you promise you won't tell, right? Because I know I won't. Good enough. Ed goes, there is no way I tell anybody. I'd love to watch you taking my hard cock in your mouth. Then I'd love to bury my mouth between your legs and eat you out till you come. Oh, man, that'd be fun. <laughs> so dismissive <laughs> like even even just beyond like the kid the like the the you know fear that this is a kid or whatever like this insinuating it's a kid i would i would be like this person's just like making fun of me they're not actually interested there's like yeah, a just group not, of people she's just not that joking. into you bro yeah all that yeah uh she goes on to say but i'd be kind of nervous i think at first because uh never meeting someone from here before but then it would be better soon i don't know what any of that meant yeah, that's semi-illiterate. Um, it's okay to be nervous. It kind of makes it more intense. Besides, I'm all good. No need to worry about that. Are you able to sneak out easy? <laughs> I'm all good. No need to worry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, are you able to sneak out so no one ever knows that we're meeting? <laughs> yeah. Don't tell anyone. I'm Get in good. the van. Uh, well, I don't got to sneak out if mom's not here. Ed says, lol, that's a plus. Now he's thinking, yeah, you don't have to sneak out. I'll just break into your home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, lol. What time you leave for school? Ugh. Oh, now he cares about her yeah. bedtime, I think. Now, now he cares about her like, education. What time are we going to beg? She's got mm-hmm. school in like four hours, you dick. She's going to need to take the day <laughs> off. <laughs> Playing hooky. Um, yeah. All right, next segment called French fucking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. Again, we're about... 30 minutes past those last messages. So they're staying up all night. It's been about, what, two hours? When did they start? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about two hours. That's a good point. I'm impressed these decoys people actually stay up late night. Do you think this is like a work from home situation where the perverted justice person just took the laptop home? Um, (laughs) He or she is just in bed chilling and eating popcorn (laughs) making fun of this idiot. (laughs) I'm actually not sure. I think because this was a sting operation, they were doing this out of the house, right? So it was like a all night kind of situation. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, maybe. So I think they were. Stakeover. Yeah, they were all together kind of thing. That sounds fun. Yeah, it does sound fun. Uh, okay. He starts, do you like touching yourself? Uh, Rachel says, I remember the first time I did. I was like, oh my god, what the world? Yeah. That's great. It's important and healthy to know and be in touch with your body. He's turning into like the health teacher, the educator. Yeah, I think so too. I have a really nice looking cock. Does that excite you? <laughs> what a braggart. <laughs> I don't know if a 14 year old has a preference. <laughs> yeah, well, surely they don't know what a nice looking nice cock looking. looks like. What is a nice looking cock? Yeah. I, he's in love with himself. He does want to watch himself get, get head because he just likes looking at his really nice looking cock, apparently. Maybe that's. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, Rachel says, Yeah, I want to see. I only seen one in real life before. Are your nipples sensitive? Fucking idiot. They're all sensitive. <laughs> This guy is like bouncing from one end of the conversation to the other. I don't know, but they feel good. 
that's great. Some girls are not so lucky. Have you ever squeezed your titties around a nice hard cock? Wait, is that a thing? Are some girls born with, like, tit paralysis or something? They don't have sensitive nipples? I don't know. I thought they were all sensitive. Some I thought girl... that's the entire point of, like, female nipples. I, th- I guess when some say they're not sensitive, they mean they're not into it. Oh, Even maybe. Even if they are sensitive. They would have yeah. to be sensitive. Yeah, surely. It's full of nerve endings, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it isn't the whole point that they can feel when the baby is, like, nurt- uh, Yeah, exactly. Uh, weaning or whatever. Eating. Uh, feasting. Yeah, whatever the fucking scientific term for eating is. Breastfeeding? Um, latching. Anyway. Oh, latching. Nice. Uh, your turn. Uh, no, I never tried that yet. I bet it's fun, though. It sure is. Especially if your nipples are erect and they rub against the balls. What? How the fuck do you make that Yeah, happen? I'm trying to visualize this. <laughs> How long are this... How many hard nipples has he seen that are so long that you can like wrap them down. and rub them on the balls? Maybe he's been reading too much of those hentais where the women have dildo, uh, like, yeah. dick nipples. This guy's never seen a pair of tits in real life, that's for sure. I've never heard of someone being into, like, rubbing the woman's nipples on his balls. <laughs> no, I get, like, rubbing the nipples or giving, like, a, a like tit fucking, you know, but, like, not, like, using yeah, the nipples as, like, not a specifically ball the massager. Nipples. Yeah. Um... Oh, plus you can feel the underside of the cock pulsating against your bare chest. It's called French fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I've never heard of this. I've never heard of that. That's an Ed classic. That's an Ed staple. He created French fucking. I'm going to duck, duck, go this. Oh, what do you know? There. Well, I mean, you do get porn video results, but they're just probably French people fucking. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. You really just saw French people fucking and they kind of did that move and then he just associated it with that. <laughs> He's like, oh, so this is French fucking. Got it. Um, I have to say, I'd be nervous about coming in initially. Oh, uh, well, we can just chill and talk and yeah, I'd be nervous too, but I think we'll feel better after we see each other. For sure. But would it be okay if we hung out in my car for a while? <laughs> uh... Yeah, kidnapping. Mm-mm. Does yeah, this is really getting uncomfortable for me now. Yeah. All the other shit, all the like sexual talk, I can just it's whatever. I'm kind of calloused against these creeps, but once they actually make tangible plans for a crime to like you know, they're laying out the tangible steps to <laughs> kidnap a child, this is creepy. Oh, it's beyond creepy now. Yeah. Rachel says yeah, we could, lol, but it's cold, silly, and nobody is here except me and Max. That's a dog. I know, but it's a big risk for me. Really big. I would want to pick you up somewhere besides your house, you know? Eh. That's still not legal. <laughs> big big risk for him, not for the fucking 14-year-old girl he's asking to get into, into the car of a stranger at I know. 4 a.m. at night. He's acting like it's a fucking drug meetup or something at the end of a movie, like, no cops, public place. It is kind of like a drug meetup for him, though. No? Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, it's ten a.m. now. It's next morning. I guess they went to bed. It's six oh, hours yeah. later. Yeah, she did have a Barely. she did have a nap or something. So th- then this is they yeah. start talking about meeting up, actually meeting up on that day. So that's where this is picked All up. Right. So he goes after I leave to come meet you. It won't take me that long to get to you. So <laughs> when we speak right before I leave, we will specify an exact time for you to call me that will be in sync. With when I am there. Uh, oh, very cool. Okay. When you reach me by the phone with that call, I'm going to have you come outside and walk to the end of your driveway. Soon thereafter, I will be driving by and able to see you there. I can wave if you like. Jesus, it's like a saw trap. I want to play a game. You have to go into your driveway and walk 30 paces. Turn around. <laughs> I, it's so I get what he's trying at here. Yeah, he's just like, what do you want? This isn't even that complicated, to be honest, but he's describing it in such a verbose way. Or like, okay, at three o'clock, call me. And when I pick up, just walk out of your driveway, okay? That's yeah. it. Yeah, it reminds like a me, you know that gif of the, uh, I think it's Zach Galifianakis with all the masks flying around his head as he's trying to figure out like the, the solution. It's like that, it's a super popular gif. It reminds me of that, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something mm-hmm. super, super simple made exceedingly complex just because he's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> Rachel goes on to say, oh my God, lol, I already saw you, lol. Do you like 
Do you look like your pick? Yes, I do. Very much so. Oh, I thought you meant if I like you, I can wave. Well, after we actually meet, I will absolutely let you decide if you are still interested. If you are, and of course you will be, alone, <laughs> then we will proceed. I, that doesn't really... Yeah, that does attract... Instill much confidence. Yeah, well, well, what happens if she says, oh, yeah, no, I'm not actually interested. That will not go down well with Ed, I reckon. And I think the He's parentheses... Scream, I have a pretty cock. <laughs> no, I was thinking something more sinister. And of course you will be, lol. Makes me think like she has no choice. <laughs> yeah. It's like already the implied threat is there. Rachel goes on to say, lol, okay. <laughs> uh, Ed continues. Still the same conversation. The stuff blocking front door is a non-issue. At the right time, you will come all the way out front. All the way to front of driveway at designated time when I'm near. Okay. I, okay. I, <laughs> he's, he's still like, going. His grammar is slipping further and further. It, into lunacy. He's still going, by the way. This is like seven minutes after the last conversation with all the like uh, long explanation. He's still fucking over-explaining. Still going yeah. into like these deep explanations. She says, are you a cop or something? You're acting freaky, lol. I am not. And this situation is is cannot get you in trouble. Only me. Believe me. So I'm being careful. Please understand and respect me being discreet. Uh oh, Rachel, you better respect him, otherwise you're gonna get cancelled. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's pedosexuality. <laughs> well, yeah, I could get in trouble if you are like a cop. If you don't believe me, we can wait till you feel better. No, you can't. You're a minor. Only I am at risk. I swear to you, that is the truth, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> For all that's worth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lying to you, Rachel. It's wrong to fuck minors. I promise. Rachel says, yeah, I can, because I know people my age that got in trouble and got locked up. There had to be more to it than just meeting someone. As far as just meeting up, I am the only one at risk, and I'm just trying to be smart about it. Will you abide by my wishes so that this goes smoothly? God, that's so gross. What 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 is the opposite of smooth in this case, where he just comes and breaks in anyway? <laughs> yeah, true. He's a smooth operator. Yeah, he's very smooth. Yeah, they were stealing stuff, so they got in trouble, but I don't like it that you're just so dang worrying. So we can wait till you don't feel scary about it, because it's making me scary too. <laughs> I'm just being careful for both of us. After we actually meet and see we are both real, it will be, it will be pure bliss from then on. Smiley face. <laughs> pure bliss for one of them. <laughs> uh, Rachel says, yeah, I know I would, but I never know. I never knew meeting people from this internet was going to be so dang weird. <laughs> Yeah, also, he's playing this up so much now in her head, even if she was a child. Now, she even the dumbest child would be suspicious at this point. Yeah, just like by this guy's instinct. This guy's not he's right. He's not playing it cool at all. At all. Yeah. Um, it's not weird. Uh, sorry. It's not weird. It's smart for both of us. I am reasonable. <laughs> it's very simple. Are you ready to try the unknown and go for it? Harry's <laughs> trying to, like, he's, he's bringing out the motivational speaker <laughs> element. You just gotta do it, Rachel. You just gotta try. It'll be fun. Ugh. <clears throat> Rachel says, Yeah, I'm ready, but I wanna wait till you're not so scary about it. And yeah, it is weird, lol. But fun, lol. Uh, Rachel says, Lol, not fun for me when you're so freaked out. After we are together, it will be freakless. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Can we say a pedophile merch with that on it? <laughs> it, it will, will be, be freakless. freakless. <laughs> it will be freakless. <laughs> Why don't you just say it will not be freaky anymore? Just say something way less fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know. None of these people know English. <laughs> they're not people. <clears throat> they're not people. I refuse to believe they're people. All right. Next one is about gambling. Okay. This is half an hour later, it seems. Ed goes, I'm feeling in a gambling mood. Lol, I'd like to meet you for sure if you are who you claim to be. 
You're definitely a cool hip hot chick. Smiley face. All right. Uh, so the... I took like the high school boys course on how to get chicks. <laughs> just, you are so cool and right about everything. Yeah. Please let me touch your boob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What music do you like? I like the same bands. They're so good. You're so right. <laughs> Uh, she says, oh, thanks, you're a sweet guy, and I'd like to meet you, but I want you to not be so worried about it. So she's still, like, trying to fucking talk him down. There's been, like, 40 minutes of you freaking out, probably. I'm me, lol. No matter what, of course I'm a bit nervous, just like you are. It's only natural, but I am very much a gentleman and a good man to meet. Do you believe I'm sharp and cool? <laughs> what? <laughs> I believe he's sharp. Sharp and cool. Yeah, he's very cool. Sure. I, I bet his knives are sharp. <laughs> True. Oh uh, yeah, I know you're cool and very sweet. And yeah, I'm nervous too. But I, I think that will be better after you get here, unless you want to wait. I want to just get past the first stage. So if you know I'm cool, then just follow my lead, and we'll be perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. So then we have a final note. This was added as an addition from the uh, person that compiled all this, the person, the decoy, the writer, whatever. They said, okay, I called him here after this point. Then I called him again when he said to around 2.30 p.m. his time, so about three hours after that, the conversation ended. And then I called him again about 20 minutes later as he was driving by the house. I can't name her now, but a woman who was very small was dressed in jeans and a grey hoodie, and he would not pull in and park until she walked out there, and he saw that it was what he thought was a child it got extremely creepy from here all the way up to the point where he finally walked into the house so we're at the point where ed has made landfall he's uh entered into the house i'm about to show that right now <clears throat> are you ready uh yes okay yes. so this is this is the very beginning of the to catch predator segment on ed he's he's entering the house basically so we're going to start that now Remember this man, screen name Ed in NYC? He's 34-year-old Eddie, and when he shows up at the house, he tries something none of the others did. Before he'll come into the kitchen, he comes up with a scheme to insulate himself from possible criminal charges, and he tries to get the girl to play along. Okay, listen, just say something to me. What do you want me to say? I say, Rachel, you're 19 years old, right? I'm not, though. You know I'm not. I don't know that. I told you I was 14. You saw it and you said, back to me. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Yeah, that's far as I know. As far as I know, you're 19 years old, right? But I... Wait, Chuck? Can you read between the lines? <laughs> Very sly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I remember he... remember this guy. Yeah. He, this would he... not work even if she did play along, by the no, way. No, of course not. You've got fucking chat logs. You knew her age. This is, it's so fucking stupid. Even without this chat logs, you can't like walk up to a five year old and tell him, hey, say you're 18 and I'm gonna mouth fuck you. <laughs> that doesn't work that way. It's not gonna hold up in court. <laughs> oh, God, so dumb. That's so stupid. I also love how goofy the clip is framed. Like he's hanging out at the. I don't know if you guys can see. It. I'm gonna leave links to like uh, stuff that you can watch on your own. But basically, he's like propped up against the side of the wall. And he's staring directly at the camera, like, smiling at it, like it's a fucking comedy sitcom. It felt like... I know. It felt like the style of like a sitcom. looks like he's so satisfied with himself. Yeah, he's so proud like, of himself. Well, he's so excited he's about to, you know, fuck who he thinks he's, he's about to fuck, but he, he's also proud of himself for putting this ingenious plan together where she fucking says that she's 19. Oh, so clever. No one's yeah. ever thought of this before. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking genius. Oh, man. S smooth. Definitely freakless, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. When I walk in, Eddie admits he was trying not to incriminate himself. My intentions are not anything, so I just want to protect myself, that's all. But she told you on the internet she was 14. 19, she was only after that. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. On I'm the internet? Yes. You want to stick with that story? I just, that's what I thought she wrote. You want, you want to see the um, transcript? I'm sure you have it. The fact that Eddie is so cunning doesn't surprise law enforcement experts. Not only are they not stupid, but they're probably above average intelligent. They can be a wide variety of individuals, but a lot of them are well-educated individuals. Well, what about he was intelligent? What are you smoking? I know you want to like... That's the... I, I know you no, want to scare this is the, people. 
and like make them take the threat seriously, but they're not smart people. They're fucking idiots mostly. Yeah, they want okay, so law enforcement wants to scare people and the TV industry, of course. They they're doing the same thing that they do with every serial killer documentary where they go, he was a scary mastermind. How did this normal father of three from this rural community wrap everyone around his finger? This brilliant evil genius. And then it turns out he's a little mouth breather and he yeah. just got away with his crimes because like cameras weren't a thing back then. Yeah. Well, we've already... just TV embellishing. These guys are fucking stupid. What? We've gone over the chat log. We saw how he entered the house. Nothing about him screamed like fucking McKev- like mastermind or highly intelligent. No, this is this is the hallmark of a low IQ person. Is low IQ and low uh, impulse control. Mm-hmm. Just the inability to even stop himself from jerking off to a fucking child and showing up. Yeah, these people are all below intelligent, below average intelligence. If anything, he's a fucking idiot. I but I, like I again, I understand that the law enforcement needs to make people. You know, take take this seriously. So, I get it from that angle, um, but still. Yeah, me too. It just you don't do that by like saying, "Oh, they're highly cunning and dangerous." You you have to you can be honest. You can just say, "I mean, they're kind of retarded, but hey, so is your <laughs> child." So be careful. <laughs> True. You know, they're I mean, dumb, uh, but smarter than your kid. I love, the, but again, like the most effective ones are probably smart. <clears throat> you know? These ones that get caught, not so smart. Yeah. So there's probably definitely smart ones out there. For sure. Oh, yeah. I'm surely there's intelligent ones out there, but these guys that get caught on to catch a predator like moths flying into the zap lights. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. And also, I loved I loved how intelligent he was trying to fucking say that she said he she, she was 19 in the fucking chat log that Chris Hansen's holding. Uh, yeah, he's so <laughs> smart. That was the best defense he could come up with. I know. <laughs> Highly intelligent. Not even I was hacked. <laughs> no, she said, I swear, I swear, so she said she was 19 in there. Some wanted a chance to try to explain themselves. Remember 34-year-old Eddie? He was the one who thought he'd found a way to cover himself legally. As far as I know, you're 19 years old, right? When I confront him, he's ready with a story. He says he's a TV producer doing research. Where are you a television producer? I work independently right now. Yeah. You know, it's ironic because I work in television too with Dateline NBC. At first, this television producer appears a bit camera shy, but then he decides to open up. I haven't done anything wrong at all. You go into the transcripts. Nope. A time and time again. The everything that was said. Picture this. Everything. Picture this. You lying back, I straddle your chest. It sounds like you were looking to have a sexual experience with this girl, Rachel, who we were talking about on the internet. But I don't know what other conclusions you, search, you can You search me for a condom. I don't have one on me. I wouldn't have sex without one. <laughs> you fucking yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, that makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the That's, fuck? <laughs> yeah, that is actually co- like codified into our law over here. Is like you get a worst offense for these things if you don't uh, like use a condom, a condom or whatever. You don't have condoms. Like that makes it an aggravating offense over here. Uh, it, I, I assume it would be the same over in America because you're not taking the bare minimum of like care to not get them pregnant or whatever. But that's fucking retarded. No, that, you're splitting hairs at that point. Okay, do you also get years off your sentence if you bought like brought body lotion to massage her afterwards? That's Dude. retarded. Oh, I brought her her lollipop for the ouchies. That's like in Turkey. We have this in Turkey. We have this thing. If like a rapist shows up to his court hearing wearing a tie and a nice suit, it shows he's respecting the court, and therefore they go more lenient on him. Like that's insane. Yeah, that's kind of like the same principle actually when you think about it. Like, it's totally irrelevant to the actual crime. Yeah, she doesn't feel better about it. Oh, thank God, he was so nice. He wore a condom. He wore a condom, yeah. But still, regardless, in this situation, Eddie saying, well, I don't have a condom, so the crime wasn't going to happen. As if you were going to fucking raw dog it, you slimy, you slimy weasel. Look at him. Look yeah. at his face. We'll get he's a so job. slimy. I know. All that. He's so slimy. I hate, he's smiling he this entire segment. Look at him. The smile. I know. Ugh. That fucker, he's one of the, he like, if anyone ever deserved to get tased and tackled by nine cops afterwards, it was him and it never happens. Such yeah. a shame. Oh man, it's so annoying that this guy's like lived his life without consequences. I really could not find anything about him. So he was out there fine. That's annoying. Yeah. All right. So condom thing doesn't matter. He absolutely, like, that. What a, what a fucking weird defense, first of all. All of his defenses have been just fucking so weak. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Last, last clip. Yeah. 
Eddie thinks he's pretty smooth and he's not quite finished. He's got yet another excuse why he's not really here for sex. Besides, she's supposedly a virgin, so she's never had sex anyway, so I certainly wouldn't want to be the first. Kind of sounds like you might have been excited about the fact that she was a virgin in here. No, I don't think so. You don't see that in there. And in fact, all you see is just little test scenarios. So For the record, around. it appears Eddie has worked as a TV producer. I'm very interested in your story. I think it's a great thing that you're doing. I think uh, it's something that you should certainly do more and more and, uh, and bag people left and right. Thanks for the pat on the back, Eddie. Not, Meanwhile, when it comes to excuses, law enforcement experts say they've heard them all. It's not uncommon for these individuals when caught dead to right to try to minimize and downplay and to rationalize and justify and offer these excuses. Oh, she's a virgin and I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that from her anyway. It's like it's Thanks. fucking opposite nice day. As soon as he's walked into the house and saw Chris Hansen, <laughs> it's opposite day. Like, you fucking loved that she was a virgin. You you weren't going to use a condom. <laughs> like, none of these excuses line up with reality. And it's so thinly veiled as well. Like, no one takes that seriously whatsoever. Yeah, it doesn't make it nothing lines up. Okay, if you don't like virgins, why are you talking to children? Did you know that most of them are virgins? I don't know if you knew. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> yeah, I, I love I love the thing that these predators do at the end when Chris Hansen, like the guy said, has them dead to rights. Like, they're like, oh, I think you you're doing a great job. It's a great, uh, great story. I hope you really do catch some bad people. That's not me, by the way. I wouldn't fuck her. She's a virgin. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you're, you're doing a great job. Please keep doing it. I'm here to make sure you're doing your job, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I'm also an investigative <laughs> journalist. <laughs> I also work in the films industry, or whatever, the TV industry. I was here to make sure you're doing your job. He's like a food in investigator. But inspector, but for like pedophile catchers. Thanks. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, there's one final note in this PDF. Well, two actually, but yeah, so he left the sting operation and he came home and he locked back into the fucking chat room on his account <laughs> and, st and struck up a conversation with Rachel, uh, Rachel's account. Maybe he was like thinking, oh, maybe, maybe that was just bad luck. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rachel, did you know there's some camera crew in your house? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rachel, well, the, the charade is up. The, the act is up, basically. Rachel says, you showed up. That's wrong, Ed. Little kids are off limits. And it, by the way, the spelling is immaculate. Now the, the formatting is perfect. <laughs> yeah, now, just, now they're typing like adults again. Except Ed, who's still typing like a fucking lobotomite. He says, I couldn't agree more. My motive was strictly research-oriented, though I admit maybe not the brightest way to go about it, but throughout I was cognizant of this being a setup of sorts. What research were you <laughs> operating? <laughs> what was the research? He really, he was method acting. Because there was no need yeah, for right. all the sex talk if this was like researching how sting operations are set up. Yeah, the 20 questions about her panties, all research. Trust me, <laughs> yeah. Rachel goes on to say, oh, how original. Yeah, I'm sure they hear that a lot. Researching mm -hmm. the genitalia of children is against the law and it's wrong. You can't talk your way out of what you did, Ed. Researching it in the ways you described is illegal. Well, it definitely wasn't a smart thing to do. But it is clear that never for a minute did I not know that was not a child to whom I was conversing with. Oh god, the double negatives hurt my not brain. A child to, to whom it I to, wow, yeah, holy shit. That just reset my brain. That it was not a child to whom I was conversing with. So I, he, whatever jumbled up English he's speaking, I think he means like I, I didn't know it was a child I was talking to. Yeah, I knew it all along. Yeah. Rachel then goes on to say, we'll see if others agree about what is clear. And then uh, that was it. That was the last correspondence with Ed, sadly. And we never heard from him again, sadly. So Rachel was wrong in that situation. <sighs> well, I guess we all saw him at the end of the day. But like, he's definitely still out there. And there's been no charges filed, at least for this. Uh, hasn't popped up anywhere else. There is So after the show's appearance, his chat log was purged from the website eventually as well. I had to use the Wayback Machine to find the chat log. And he was scrubbed from most discussion of the show for some reason. I'm not sure if he like filed a suit against the show or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was scrubbed from the website. It's very hard to find any information about him. Sadly, he did not face jail time or consequences for the crime. 
Uh, the only other thing I could find, and I'm not sure if this is completely 100% accurate, but the timing, location, and name does kind of add up. Uh, people found his Match.com profile from after the show. Um, mm-hmm. It had the same edit in NYC username. It was a 47-year-old man who lived in New York with the name um, Ed, obviously. So it's probably like the, the age lines up. Um, or, or I, I would think that it would be accurate. So uh, he's a 47-year-old man living in New York, United States, seeking women 30 to 49 which is a quite an age jump from what he's used to, I would say. Within five yeah. miles online now, at the time that that was grabbed, not that, that this would have been like ten years ago, I think, or yeah, probably ten years ago. He details relationship, divorced, have kids, yes, and they live away from home. Wonder why? <laughs> Wants kids, <laughs> not sure. Ethnicity, white slash Caucasian. Body type, athletic and toned. Height, five foot five. Did he look taller than five foot five in the show? Not really. Okay. Not my faith, enough. faith, Christian slash Catholic. <clears throat> Smoke, no way. Drink, social drinker, and then he says, uh, "Be in the moment and embrace all that it represents." <laughs> Not sure what that means. Oh, how deep, so deep. Yeah. You know what I noticed though? Uh, he's seeking women thirty and up. That is yeah, that's what I said. forty-seven, half of forty-seven plus uh, seven, so it works. <laughs> he took the oh, he, he he learned the rule. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Good job. All right, and then he's got a paragraph in his own words on here. He says, "I have a diverse interest." <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> I like classical music and classic rock, Shakespeare and Confederacy of Dunces, The Godfather and Revenge of the Nerds. That's such a like that is a diverse taste. Putting The Godfather and Revenge of the Nerds in the same sentence. I enjoy live music. It's, it's, sorry, I'm just, I was just going to nitpick his grammar. Like, he does not capitalize any of the proper, like, movie titles, but he capitalizes the word enjoy for no fucking reason. It's so bizarre. He's definitely an intellectual, though. I mean, Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Above average. I, <laughs> I enjoy live music. There is plenty of it here on the UES. I don't know what that is. United East. What is UES? No idea. Tend to end up seeing classic rock bands, but like most types of music, I enjoy activities such as rock climbing and working out. I own and manage a professional consulting firm. It is stimulating and fun. Enjoy the neighborhood organization, inspiring people to be the best they can be. Connection with people in more than a superficial way. (laughs) (laughs) I'm analytical by nature, but what stimulates and energizes me is tapping into my creative side. I make choices that enable me to do so. So pretty generic, nothing really too deep. They didn't talk about the kid fucking or anything like that yeah this is the most boring profile yes it would be more original to write do you like long walks along the beach at this point this is so tedious to read it would be it like would be so, yeah he should put like at the end like featured in to catch a predator episode one you can find me here for, head, <laughs> for headshots on TV. So leave it vague yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You may have seen my research on TV. I was wrongly accused. I, I would love if it was just like paragraphs of him like trying to claim his innocence. His interests, coffee and conversation, business networking, dining out, movies, videos, museums and art, exploring new areas, nightclubs, dancing, travel sightseeing, and wine tasting. So he's a true intellectual. Maybe that cop was right yeah. at the end. Yeah, it is a super generic profile, but that is literally all I could find on this guy. So other than that, he is, he is just out there, I guess. I think he'd be like 55 by now. Uh, when is the profile from? When did you say? I, I don't know when I was that was to from. Look at it, but it wants me to log in. Which yeah. Gonna do. I, so he was 35 at the age of offense, and that was 2004. So 20 years. Yeah, he'd be about 55. Mm. Yeah. Full ripe life of wine tasting and business networking. That sounds fucking riveting. In between yeah. that fucking, I guess. What do you think his professional consulting firm is? I have no idea. But I would not take any advice this fucking idiot gives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just go into the meeting room like, wink, wink. Hey, you guys agreed to pay me two billion bucks, right? Wink, wink. Just say it, though. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> idiot. How could, you, how could you work in a professional field and, and this appearance on the show not show up, though? That's what I'm curious about. How is he able to live a normal life? Like, the last name never shows up. And I guess you can just modify your looks enough so where no one will recognize you. 
instead of Ed or Eddie, you start going by Edward, you grow out your beard and you maybe shave your head bald or something and presto, you're a different person. But, uh, yeah, but... Again, like back then, they just, they didn't have anything on this guy. He's a fucking idiot though, Kai. His username on this match.com profile is the exact same what he used in the chat <laughs> log. He hasn't changed anything. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's his same name, same username. And he also went home to keep talking to the decoy instead of, I don't know, nuking his account or something. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Potterfiles. Uh, where would you put him at the slime winners rating? Oh, uh, yeah, I think he deserves the rating. I don't know if he's worse than the last guy. I, I think the last I, I guy was him. more aggressive, like more scary. This guy is probably more slimy. He's, he's a douche. I wish I could yeah. give him a douchiness rating because that's just smarmy. Ed. He's not yeah, slimy as much as he is smarmy. Just, yeah. yeah, that fucking full of himself piece of shit fucking arrogant smile of his as he's standing there in the doorway going, wink, wink, you're 19, right? <laughs> fucking douche. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Uh, yeah, his smarminess rating is off the charts. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Um, we'll mm -hmm. see you next time with Potterfiles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts Live below. Long and Poto. Bye bye. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, bye. I don't know. <laughs> Potofiles out. What was our sign off?